Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless. And one of my jobs is to take Broadway stars and put them in a playbill. And they usually send me pictures of the Broadway stars. And thankfully that the Broadway stars usually have a smooth background or a gradient background, something pretty fairly smooth without texture. I'm going to show you how I used to have to fit these pictures in, and I'm going to show you something that I just discovered by accident once again. Uh, so I hope you like this tutorial, and let's get started. So here we have two pictures. I pulled them off of stock photos. I pulled a horizontal and a vertical picture. Now, when I do um, Broadway kind of playbills, what I have to do, let's just try this. I'll show you what I do. So first I'm going to take this rectangle tool. And this is just a quick mock-up. And I'm going to convert it to curves. And then with the node tool, I'm going to click maybe here. Let's try here and here. And I'll pull this one down like that. And then I am going to take the text frame text tool. And you notice when it's inside that curve, it changes. So if I click in there and I can, I can type text if I want, whatever I want, I want, or I can just say for the mock-up text, insert filler text. And of course I can leave gussets all around and things like that, but let's just keep this for now. So make believe that this is my playbill. And now I have to fit the pictures into here. In fact, I am going to make this a little bit more square. So I think I'll select that one and that one and move it over like that. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to take another rectangle and I'm going to go like this. And I am going to give it a stroke. Actually, more than that. So let me move this over so I could see it. I'm sliding over. And just say I was giving, oops, let's go back to my layers. See, okay, I'm on my rectangle. Uh, I want a bigger stroke. Okay, so that's just like a fake frame. This is not going to be a beautiful playbill. I'm just trying to give you my thoughts on this. Now, when I used to have to do this, sometimes I got horizontal pictures and sometimes I got vertical pictures. So here was my problem. Sometimes I would have to go like this and size it something like this. And I would have to fit that in. Now I'm going to make it a clipping mask. So here's my rectangle. So if I take this and bring it up and over, it now is clipped inside that rectangle. I used to put something behind it. And sometimes I just tried the in-paint. And I tried different things. I tried doing crazy things. But now watch what I can do here, which I thought was really interesting. If I took this picture, and convert it to curves, and then I went to the node tool, I can pull this out. And it kind of fills in the differences for me, which I never expected that to. So I used to basically do this by hand. Sometimes I use the stamp tool. Sometimes I tried the in-paint tool. But this, to me, was so much quicker. So that's the first one. Now let's say the second one. Um, let's move him in front of that one, which means he's going to be a clipping mask right there. And you don't see him now because he's clipped. So if I shrink him down, and I want him to, to fill nicely in here, my, I'm going to hide her right now. So let's get a close up there. Once again, my problem was I would have to fill in this whole area. So the way I would fill it is I either use a stamp tool or I'd put another background, I'd duplicate it and put a background. But watch this, I thought this was fantastic. And it's so simple. So I, I, have, the, I have the man selected right now. And I go convert to curves. And I take the node tool. And I just bring it up. 
and the head. Now the here's a problem. If you do the bottom, it just it may fake it. So here in particular, when this particular one worked really well, um, sometimes it gets really weird. If you have any kind of texture, it gets weird. So the backgrounds have to be very smooth for this to work. And since this shirt was fairly smooth, you could see a couple of lines. I still think it works. So when you look at it now, so now here we did, we got that, we got him and we got her, and they both fit in the same spot. Let me bring a close up one more time at how easy that was. Look at the difference. It really did a beautiful job. And all I did was convert it to curves, grabbed a node to, and moved it out. So this is a pretty good trick. And I don't even know how I, I, I was actually trying to figure something else out, but I, this is what I ended up with. And I think I'm going to use this from now on. So I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did, Please click like and subscribe and have a good day.